Only three hours away from London, Frankfurt and Milan, there's a small, spectacular island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. It's five times smaller than the whole of London and has a population of less than half a million. Yet Malta is a world in miniature. Independent for more than four decades, it has its own language. And even a place where one can get away from everything, in Gozo, the next island along. Its islanders go about their life with the typical warmth and hospitality of the Mediterranean character. But visitors see the island for what it is. Which is why, for the past 6,000 years, most visitors have opted to stay on. And while some have tried to make it theirs, others were just happy to leave their stamp. It may feel like time travelling through historic eras, but Malta is not an island where time stood still. Upon its independence, Malta has embraced the future like no other country, and its pulsating vision of forthcoming prospects is inspiring. By 2015, it's expected to become a hub of excellence in the most crucial key sectors. For decades, Malta has been second home to more than 200 foreign direct investors. Since the country joined the European Union in 2004 and the Euro in 2008, investors have had the security and comfort of operating simultaneously within the EU borders and within easy reach of other emerging markets. Malta offers several perks, competitive taxes and operating costs, low inflation rates and a bilingual labour force trained to the highest standards. This, together with rock-solid political and economical stability, which help the island to sail through any international downturns, are but a few of Malta's assets. Malta's ideal location in the Mediterranean makes it a classic attraction for both business and leisure.